Uh, what's up guys good morning welcome back to another video at this point of the vlog i'm not sure if i've already uh, done an intro in today's video we are heading to auto id because we are having ibex and um springs and spaces fitted essentially focus i mean first and foremost i hope you guys like the new camera setup that i have i'm now switching to a zoni zve 10 with a 16 mil sigma lens as you can see looking pretty good right better than the DJI so why am I getting this done I'll just quickly guys show you why so this is the standard look of the M2 as you can see there's still uh, well it's pretty low from factory but there is a gap from the wheel to the arch and uh, while some of you might like that well once you see pictures of cars like lowered having the stance quote-unquote uh, it makes you also want to do that to your car you can see here yes the fronts do already poke out a little bit but once I get the uh, beam spaces done both will be poking out really nice and should sit really cool as well to give it that nice stance look just to show you guys an overlook of what it's like all around the car show you at the back you see the you see the gap between the wheels and the arch you know Obviously that needs to be widened out and uh, yeah, it will just look proper squat. I got some nice cars running out as well. We got a Bentayga. Well guys, still stuck in traffic, but um, pushing on. Annoyingly, it's a Tuesday, so it shouldn't be much traffic, but I think there's been an accident on the motorway slash freeway, expressway, whatever you guys from whatever you call it i haven't already mentioned why i'm getting the springs and spaces done it's to really for aesthetics purposes um i've seen cars that have been done by the likes of Motec performance auto id and r44 to name a few and i know a couple of people personally who've had their cars lowered and uh, i must say it does look really really good uh, as i showed you earlier the arch gap on this m2 there is an arch gap let's just say that there's an arch gap I'm not gonna get into the numbers because I don't know exactly how many millimeters that is for you to really get that stance you know the squat wide beefy look you really need to go springs and spaces there are other avenues which you can explore such as possibly getting coilovers I was at one point deciding to, to get coilovers but obviously with the price you know two and a half grand or even more than that KW's you really need to think about it whether it's worth it and um, you can justify the price um, I was gonna go with Cobra Springs uh, because they were on sale but I've never really seen anyone or heard anyone that are on Cobra so I'm sure they're a good brand um, and then H&R also were on sale on their website but in the end I just decided to go with the uh, Ibex as with every other M2s they seem to be all on Ibex so majority of them anyway so yeah I'm really looking forward for the mod I hope that it will transform the way the car looks, I'm sure it will. Um, driving wise, I've not really heard of any known benefits of possibly improving the ride handle or, or the ride of the car. But one thing I know is that after getting the springs done, I'll need to get a geo setup alignment done uh, to make sure that, um, well, essentially the, the tires, the wheels will be out of place. So to prevent wear and tear, or tear of the tires I'll need to get it aligned again so that uh, they'll be worn out evenly that makes sense hope you guys get what that means yeah that is the situation so far I have waffled on a lot I know I don't really waffle on my videos because I feel like you lot just want to get straight to the point and uh, see the results but I'll just give you guys a background you know as to why I'm doing this and uh, be there in the next hour or two I already emailed them so hopefully they can, they can still accommodate me but. a few moments later so guys finally made it to auto ID there you go as the sign says it's in the vlog auto ID vlog and I think this is a 240i must be this just should be a go reversing in So that's what it sounds like on the outside. Nice.
So guys, I'm here uh, in the waiting area, the man cave, uh, watching a bit of Auto ID Joe Achilles uh, when he got his M2 work done here. And um, yeah, they actually have a sim rig here, so you can actually set a lap if you wish. But at the moment, I just want to sit down, or actually I want to stand up and chill because I've been sitting for a long time, being stuck in traffic. So there's hot drinks, um, you know, lots of merchandise is here for you to look at. And uh, this gorgeous uh, Miltec exhaust, which is actually the one I was getting for my M2. And uh, yeah, funnily enough, it's here, isn't it? What are you guys trying to hit, guys? Huh? But that's the M2, getting the work done. Still up on the ramp, as you can see. I just want to show you guys the differences between the uh, tips. So I believe this will be the titanium ones, and obviously carbon. And I would have gone for this option here, only because it's uh, not, well, I wouldn't say it's the cheapest, but um, I don't really need Actually, no, this might be the one that turns blue. Can't think of a name for that. And uh, yeah, chrome. So this is the full Miltec exhaust. Alright guys, here it is, all done, springs and spaces fitted. Massive shout out to Auto ID for squeezing me in today. This cold January afternoon, as you can see. Should be a bit more poke now on the front wheels. Yes, you can see that. And the back, I'll go around. Um, at the moment, probably will take some time for the springs to fully adjust and lower. But Yes, it's more spaced out now and uh, should be able to see the rear wheel from the rear view mirror which is what I've always wanted really so yeah really happy with it like I said to you I doubt I'll see any differences in the handling of the car but if I do then I will uh, let you guys know really happy with how the car has turned out as you can see should look mighty now on the road and um, I'm gonna end the video there yeah car looks really stunning now and uh, beefier so uh, once again guys thank you for watching this video and I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you on the next upload whenever that will be alright guys